This morning, Memphis spiritual leaders and community leaders broke bread together. They prayed together, and they looked forward to 2020 together. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor Richard is off. Those at the 29th Annual Prayer Breakfast, they recharged and announced new goals in the new year. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders was there and has tonight's top story. More than 100 people attended this morning's prayer breakfast to reflect on the year ahead. The event also provided a significant announcement from one of Memphis's longest serving elected leaders. Back to a one as voted. Memphis Congressman Steve Cohen accidentally dropped our microphone and then dropped some news. And as I mentioned here last year, I'd be running for re-election in 2020 and 2022. Nothing the congressman made that announcement at the annual New Year's Day prayer breakfast near the Memphis airport. As the audience bowed their heads, Memphis clergy also made a call to action. We come to a moment in this city that we're going to need 2020 vision. I believe that our city can find a pathway forward in our community if we had one vision. Shelby County Commissioner Mikkel Lowry, who co-hosted the prayer breakfast with his father, Memphis City Court Clerk Myron Lowry, is also looking forward. Well, always a big issue would be education. We need to be doing as much as we can to make sure we're supporting our students. Lowry said another challenge this year is continuing the area's growth and building off of significant 2019 milestones in projects like South City's mixed-use developments near downtown Memphis. Memphis is growing. People want to be here, which is great. We all knew this time was coming and it's finally here. And so now let's make sure that we're doing what's best for our taxpayers as well as our citizens to make sure the development is done properly and across the board. So far, only former Shelby County Democratic Party Chairman Corey Strong has announced he would challenge Congressman Steve Cohen in this November's election. Reporting in the studio, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.